Hey guys, Mike Miner here. Another cool stuff today on CPU mining. Today I will be sharing about triple mining in Hive OS. So currently, I'm trying to mine uh, Ethereum and Zilliqa. Now I'm going to add a CPU mining. One of the best uh, coin to mine using CPU is the Raptorium right now. So I will be sharing with you on Hive OS how you can set up. There are two ways of setting up. One of which is you can straight away, based on your flight sheet, you can assign directly your CPU mining. I started it using a different standalone CPU miner. So I tried to use it using Windows. And then at the same time, why don't I try to apply it in HiveOS as well? So this video is actually to show you how you can set up in HiveOS and set up in Windows as well. So first step is you gotta go to your uh, HiveOS. Uh, currently, I have from this rig, I have an AMD Ryzen 5 2600. It's a 6 core processor. Then the next step is I will be getting the IP address of this uh, rig in order for us to connect to the uh, the next step is I'm going to open up a terminal and then we'll connect to the Hive OS as you can see it's mining right now so what we need to do is we need to download the file or we need to download the program we're going to go to our directory which is the home and then I'll just copy over the command line here command line is wget and then get the link from Mike Miner site. I'll leave the description link down below. And what it does is actually trying to download then try to extract the, the program. What it does here, it tries to extract the program. And then now we are trying to configure the, the, the address, the flock pool. And then we're replacing here the worker name. And then we can replace here the wallet address. The first phrase is actually the existing phrase inside the config JSON. So we're replacing it with a new one. So on your side, you can replace it. So next step is we assign. We try to set on uh, boot up the program. When we try to boot, we are going to set it as one of the first program to run. So that when your, your rig tries to boot up, it will automatically run. And then we run the S reboot. Then reboot the rig. As soon as the rig reboots, then we can connect and then we are, we are able to check if the miner is starting up. So how we can see is by typing a uh, moment, it's still loading. We, what we can do is we check first the program is running, grab CPU miner, and then uh, yeah, it's already running. And also we can check it by running, uh, we show all the screen, this thing, it runs also the existing miner. Of the Hive OS, and then uh, now it's running on 911 CPU miner. As you can see now, it's actually uh, building or it's running on a test mode on uh, 1488 testing. So it takes some time on that one. So just have to wait. Now I'm going to show you my existing rig, which is uh, on Windows. I'm running here on, or I'm mining here Chia. And uh, now on the front part i'm running uh, cpu mining where to download is i'm going to put a description link also where you can download the windows then uh, from this side you click this cpu miner and then it will be downloaded once it's downloaded you need the seven zip file extractor in order for you to extract the zip and since i already extracted the file the next step that we're gonna do is uh, we try to set the config config.json and we open up to our favorite uh, text editor which i'm using a uh, notepad plus plus then uh, we do it manually in here unlike in the hive os or in the linux we run a script to replace the value so we set here our URL and then our wallet address and our uh, worker name. We we'll just have to set them here. Once we have set this and then we're good to go. We'll, we'll just have to run the CPU miner sh file or the batch file. Once we open up, then uh, this is the program that it will run in front. So we run the CPU miner, the batch file. The Windows batch file and then uh, this is the one that's running right now. It's mining since last week. So it's very easy to set up in Windows and uh, it's uh, very straightforward. You'll just have to download the file, set the config and then double click. That's it. So when you're running your CPU miner uh, on uh, Hive OS, uh, it will take some time to mine. It depends on your CPU or your processing 
or your processor how it tries to do some testing so currently my one it takes about 90 minutes to complete the testing after the 90 minute mark it will try to do mining ready based on the screenshot i've shown you on my screen right now it uh, shows here that i i need to complete uh, the testing by 1488 currently i'm on my 886 so it took about it will take more than 60 minutes to complete this 1488 testing so this one will take some time and then uh, i'll show you afterwards so it's up right now guys the other rig now we got two active workers and then it finishes the testing ready for more than uh, 90 minutes now it shows now i got 43 accepted share on the rig 08 008 and we got a total of 3.25 or 3250 kilo hash so when we try to check the mining miner stat for raptorium 3250 right now as of uh, november 7 you can calculate here with a zero electricity cost we got a daily uh, profit of almost two dollars per day two dollars us and yeah not bad actually for for two rigs uh, passive income and if you take a look on uh, minor raptorium side the official side of the raptorium you can take a look on the ryzen 5 3600 it's 80 us per day it's slightly lower to compare to minor stack so the price of the raptorium is fluctuating a while ago it's the price is high now it's a bit lower now but since uh, it's volatile you can just mine and then late, later on you can uh, reap the harvest next one is you get to download of course your favorite trading uh, wallet or your exchange wallet which i'm using currently using the dex trade so you can download this from uh, let's say i'm using uh, google or android i'm using android you can download this dex trade and then install in your device once you have successfully installed this would be the app uh, the dex trade app and then uh, now as you can see you can go to my wallet then you can go to rtm and then now you can see here the mining i already have 771 mine for the past uh, four days or how many days it's five days ready and then now the price is 0 0.01 as of november 7 so not bad it's uh, about eight dollars it's eight dollars ready so that's it guys i hope you learned something how you can set your uh, hive os and then uh, your windows especially hive os uh, miners in there if you it's a it's a good way to maximize your your rig to mine uh, as a triple mining just like what i'm doing i have uh, gpu mining which is on ethereum and i also have uh, gpu mining or miner on uh, zilliqa and i have a cpu miner which mines not right now in raptorium if you get a power limitation guys just try to be, be very careful because sometimes the the power of the, the raptorium it tries to spike suddenly so last time I tried to configure all my rigs, which is the nine rigs. I tried. I'm trying to mine on Raptorium, but I I will not advise if you have a limited power supply because if you got a limited power supply, it will just suddenly trip off and then all your rigs will be off. So on my end, I'm just running on uh, two high-end processors, which is uh, I'm running on uh, Ryzen 5 3600 and uh, Ryzen 5 2600. So I'm planning later on to upgrade to one of the processors on the, my upcoming video I might share with you. I might be upgrading on uh, 3900 because it's a cheaper one at a high value uh, mining so i might as well do that one on that direction so thanks for watching and uh peace out guys and shalom